I would like have staring competitions with like Lila from across the room as well. Whenever I see her looking at me and I'll just like stare back. This episode of the Houseplant Home Tour on Plant One On Me is brought to you by fourth generation family owned and operated Espoma Organic, which produces superior organic gardening products for both the indoor and outdoor gardener. You can look out for Espoma products like their potting medium, amendments, and organic fertilizers at your local garden center and at espoma.com. All right, so I am here in Dumbo. I guess this is officially Dumbo, oh, right? Downtown Brooklyn. Downtown yeah. Brooklyn, okay. Yeah. And we have quite a view also of plants and mm -hmm. some skyscrapers out there with Vivian. Yeah. And we're going to take a look at our plant collection today mm -hmm. and try to, uh, try to get some snaps of our dog, too. That's Lila. Hi, Lila. <laughs> <laughs> So here's the main living area. I have north facing windows. Yeah. So I need like um, help with some light, you know? So the IKEA cabinet is great. I haven't actually seen anybody with this. Well, there's one. Yeah. <laughs> this is the ring flash. Yeah. Um, actually, I got this in like October 2019 because yeah. um, I was going back to Malaysia for like a month. And then I was like, oh my goodness, who is going to like water all my plants for me? And then I know like, I've seen like people around Instagram have this cabinet, so they, I mean like it keeps like humidity, so I guess watering is like not as frequent as like being outside. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get one of this. And yeah, and then we got it. Was it a grow shelf or did you have to install the grow lights in it? I installed everything in it. It just came with like the, sh the glass shelves yeah. and that's it. Um, yeah, and then I got this like strip lights. It's like, it's on the Amazon store. Okay, so it's um, not an Ikea mm -mm, product, no. okay. No. Um, yeah, and then I hooked it up with like magnets. I had to weather strip the corners just to like cover all the, all the like, you know, gaps and everything. Right. Yeah. I mean, I used to keep like philodendrons inside, but... Um, they got too big? No, last year I like went to Hoya craze. Oh. Uh, and so like all my fires You definitely have there. plenty of Hoya. Yeah. I mean, you, you're going to have to help me through these. Yeah. I, I think I, I see think a fin, Finlayos, mm. Finlayosonia, I yeah. think, in some... Love your, you're in my way. <laughs> Lila, move. Move your butt. She's like, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what I love about Hoyas too is that you can just get one or two little nodes and mm -hmm. you can start growing the plant, which it looks like, you know, you get, because there is, a lot of people love Hoyas, yeah. right? Yeah. And yeah. right now, they used to be able to sell large plants, but I think now we're only getting these tiny little mm -hmm. plants. And they became so expensive. Uh, they became so, so expensive. Yeah. That's the Gunung Garing. I got it as like a tree tree leaf plant. So it grew another tree leaves um, in the last few months. I love the dark venation. Yeah, me too. But I guess like the the like negative side of like gold lights, it doesn't like sun stress as yeah. beautifully as like, you know, the actual sun. So you get you so, don't get the per, like the pinkish mm -hmm, purple colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um and then Is this a variegated monstera and Sonia? Yeah. And that's wow. like a little note. <laughs> I got that as like a node as well, and it grew like four leaves yeah. on it. So, yeah, it was like a gamble because it didn't have any leaves when I got it. Jeez. So, but it like came I, out beautifully. So, I've got some plants that I ordered that were just like a little stem, and it uh -huh. turned out to be not the same plant yeah. as what you got. Yeah. And then I got um, actually Matt, Matt's only plant, which I care for. Mm -hmm. It's like a Ficus villosa. Oh, yeah. Look he, at that. he got it as like a Secret Santa gift. Yeah. So, not Secret Santa, like the white elephant. Yeah. Yeah. Gift. And yeah, I've been like... That's great. Yeah, so it's cute. I, um, I think I might still have mine growing in my uh, biopod, but I have no idea. But it, it, yeah. it's it, in the aquarium, it mm -hmm. kind of just takes over in the edges, but yeah. it's so beautiful. I'm like... Especially with that fuzz of the yeah. trichomes, trichomes. I need to get like a little piece of tank or something yeah. and figure out something else besides this. Yeah. Bubble tea. For now, <laughs> it's good. Yeah. And then you have a, a Florida Alba Beauty right there. Yeah. Is that like an Aurea or um, what is that, Aurea Variegata? Or? I just bought it as like a variegate, like variegated it's, Florida Beauty. Yeah, it's definitely, yeah. it has that more yeah. yellow streaks. And uh, that's like a mon variegated Monstera Peru. It used to be prettier, but it got like attacked by trips last summer. Oh, yeah, and it's 
so hard to grow. Like yeah. so, and it's so hard to propagate as well. So it's it's just one leaf now, but it's growing. So you know, yeah. I I didn't stake my, one of my monstera Perus, mm -hmm. and it started to scramble with like the the long stem uh -huh. trying to find something to grow oh, up on. Yeah. So it just the leaves started getting smaller and smaller and smaller and I was like, I didn't stake you in time. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. And then some um, of your anthuriums over here, nice velvety ones. Yeah, yeah the clary nervium as well, I'm like rehabbing it. Um it just like I think I did not keep it in like a humid environment. Mm -hmm. So it like lost all its leaves and then I had to reroot it. So like this is like the newest leaf, mm -hmm. and I'm glad it did not die. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like the mini bell splash. It's like it has like really splashy silver, silver. Yeah, leaves. the silver yeah. is great. So and then the Hoya pubicalix is that with the silver? Um, that's a rang sand. Oh rang sand. wow, yeah. that is so good. Yeah, um, I've never seen that before. It's beautiful. Yeah, and that's like the AH074. Um, I'm waiting for these leaves to grow and then I'll cut this one off, yeah. I guess, because it's like mm. pretty damaged. Well, this is like one of my favorites. This one. Um, it's a Quinn... Quinn... Nervia? Nervia? Quinn no, okay. Nervia. <laughs> <laughs> I just like how it grew. Yeah, I wonder, like, is it King Nervia? So I have no something idea. with the five veins, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. Does it have five veins? Um, one, two, three, four, five ish. Yeah, wait, one, yeah. two, three, four, five. Maybe that's how it gets its name. I don't yeah. know. Maybe that's <laughs> an interesting fact. <laughs> yeah, this is like one of my favorites. As what well. kind of flowers does it get? Do you uh, know? I have no idea. Actually, when I bought, buy Hoyas, I like look at foliage before flowers. Yeah. But then when I get one to bloom, it's like, oh my god, it bloomed. <laughs> yeah. It's a really cool trellis, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is that something you made? Yeah. I bought like uh, some copper wires and just mm -hmm. cut it up and like just like, you know, form it. Yeah, into, that's great. Like, I see that you did it for yeah. many of them. It's just more economical, I guess. And I see that you're rooting some in water mm -hmm. and some in Lekka and some in sphagnum. Yeah. Is it just kind of what you have or do you are you kind of uh, doing some tests or? Um, I've actually never rooted. This is like a white princess mm -hmm. that I'm rooting in sphagnum. I've never actually tried rooting like Hoyas in Sphagnum before, mm -hmm. but I've done in like Lekka. But now I usually um, just put it, after like when it forms some roots, I'll put it in like a really like um, perlite heavy soil mixture. Yeah. Yeah. And that works for me, so yeah. That's great. I actually honestly use water because it's more space saving, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is really pretty as well. It's a, it's a UT07 tree. So it hasn't gotten a name yet. I just, I love these dark, I, I'm thinking Things, of like yeah. Finlaysonii and Meredithii, like there's yeah. a, a few that have the really dark venation. Yeah. It's, stu it's stunning. Yeah. Um, I bought this as like a one leaf cutting. Mm -hmm. I mean like a two leaf cutting. I'm not sure what it is. It, it does look like the Mer Meredithii. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's something. <laughs> so. Yeah, and... Do you do any fertilizing with your Hoyas? Um, I do. I use like liquid dirt. Yeah. Yeah, and that's it really. Yeah, and this one is also, I got this as like a little like oh my gosh. two leaf cutting. I think this is like the Thomsonii. Can I just like stroke the leaf? Of course. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, that is so nice. A D. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's unbelievable. So, it's almost like Velcro. Yeah, and it has like Two little leaves here. Yeah, is yeah. it gonna? It looks like it's clinging to the cup. I think so. Yeah. I need to move this as well. Yeah. To something else. Amazing. What do you think, <laughs> Layla? Well, very cool yeah. and a very good uh, use of this cabinet, I mm -hmm. have to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I keep like a little mini fan there that I switch on like every now and then. Just to give some airflow, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, because um, it's it would probably build up like any kind of fungal or bacteria mm -hmm. and just kind of stagnant air. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's, it gets really hot in here as well. Like yeah. when I it open is, it. It's toasty yeah. in here. Yeah. It's so. nice and humid for the plants. It's perfect for the plants and our skin. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so then you have a syndapsis right yeah. here, but the, the jade kind, it's yeah. so gorgeous. That's my favorite plant, I think, oh. like in this corner, because yeah. it's so big and full. All right, so then you have your Raphidophora tetrasperma. Uh -huh. It's a monkeys, 
Or a monkey and a gingerbread man. Yeah, <laughs> that monkey, Matt actually made it for me for my birthday. That's so <laughs> funny, year. you made a you sock monkey. Sock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were living in Malaysia then, so it's lived in Malaysia and yeah. here. That's yeah, that's great. Um, and then you have a Syndapsis trubii moonlight. Is yeah. that a moonlight? Yep. And that's like a um, sil silver splash. A silver s splash. Wait, is this a Finlay Finlandsonii? Um, Do you know? Uh, that's a cal cal oh Callistophylla. Cal yeah. Okay. Oh, and somebody's blooming here. Your Bella. Here. Yeah. Almost blooming. Um, Could there's some bloom. peduncles here as well. Oh yeah, and that's a variegated kind. Uh huh. Cool. There's one here, and there's one here. This yeah. one had it, but it like died off. And then your Dyscidia ruscifolia, but a variegated kind. You love your variegated kinds, it looks mm -hmm. like. It's really pretty, like the colors and everything. Yeah. Yeah. And then, the yeah. Tunda flora? Mm hmm. Yours is almost has a little bit more fuzzies than mine does. That's interesting. Mine almost looks a uh, silky bear. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's, fa that's fascinating. Maybe maybe yours has like younger leaves because mine are like a little bigger. Yeah, yeah. bigger. I guess like this will like the oldest. Oh yeah. Yeah. See, that's, that's, that's a little less fuzzy. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, this is my newest edition. It's a Y Manier Malaysia. So I decided like I wanted to like collect plants from Malaysia. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this one is like the Malaysia variety, I guess. That's um, so nice that you're able to actually like take a because you're originally from Malaysia, mm -hmm. right? So you get to take a piece of home yeah. here, yeah. which is yeah. great. Do you have? Did you start collecting? I should have asked you this in the beginning, but I can move this. Did you start collecting plants while you're in Malaysia, or did what, did it, did it, you get the bug over here? Um, probably over here. Yeah. Yeah. We we our first apartment in uh, Brooklyn is like this like ground floor apartment in uh, Crown Heights mm -hmm. and it's like but it has like a little like front yard space before the street but people could still look into our apartment oh yeah so we were like <laughs> okay we're gonna like do something about this because I don't want the curtains to like be down the whole yeah. entire day yeah so we bought like some plants and plant curtains yeah <laughs> and it worked and it became this plot so yeah are you talking on your peanut butter now are you okay <laughs> She's like, ah, so yeah, full deal. Um, yeah, and then this this is like one of my first plants. Um, this string of hearts. I've had it since December 2018. And it's a beautiful variegated one too. Yeah, and it's it like very pink. Yeah, and the bottom, like, I, the other day I look at it, I was like, wow. I was quite amazed, honestly, because like, all it gets is like the strip lights and yeah. I didn't expect it to go so pink yeah. from it, you know. Well, speaking so. of curtains, it looks it looks like a great curtain. Yeah. What what is this? Because this has a diff different leaf shape from that. That's a calistophylla as well. That's one yeah. Of, okay, but that's so interesting because you see how this is like so bulbous here. Yeah. And then this is like more bulbous in the middle. Yeah. So maybe it's like younger. Oh, so it's like Hoyas could throw you off if yeah. they're not. Yeah. I mean, I think I definitely bought this as a calistophylla. Yeah. So yeah. Um. And that one used uh, flowered like twice in December, so it still has like a peduncle. Amazing. Here. But it's pretty we'll impressive that they could be so small and start to flower. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it, it like bloomed in November and December, mm -hmm. like back to back. So I was like, wow, very impressed. So you're basically giving yeah. this like kind of a really diffuse north light, mm -hmm. and then also some of this uh, the this grow light. Yeah. Um, I kind of leave the grow lights on like. Just like five to six hours a day. Okay. Um, cause, but everyone like I know like a lot of people leave it like for like twelve to sixteen hours. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, my windows are kind of big. Yeah, so. they're, they are big, but they they seem yeah. to have like some type of UV protection mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. if they didn't, you'd probably be like your own greenhouse in here. Probably. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, we'll see how summer goes because we moved in in some September. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so you haven't really yeah. gotten the full breath of the sun yet. Yeah. Um, and then a crimson queen over here who's decided to go white at the tips. Yeah. And like, yeah. It's it's like one of the first ones I got as well. It's a bit dehydrated. <laughs> so. <laughs> now, I've never seen this kind of humidifier. Um, yeah, I got it on Amazon as well because yeah. all my plants are like raised. Yeah. Up, so I needed something with a longer nozzle. Yeah. Yeah. So I got that. Well, it also seems smart because it shoots it up mm -hmm. and it's, it, 
by the time it probably doesn't reach your floor, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's going up in here, so I think that's quite smart. Yeah. And then I love your planter pots. I know some of them are not getting use, but like, look at the shapes of them. They're so beautiful. <laughs> look at these. Did you bring these home from Malaysia, or where did you get these? No, I got them all here. Oh my gosh, um, they're yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, I did not have any plants in Malaysia. Yeah. Um, I guess thank God. Yeah. Like, then I would be like. <laughs> so sad to yeah because like you have to it. leave them yeah, yeah. Are, so. is your family back in Malaysia uh-huh well yeah. it, they, if you did at least they might be able to take care of them yeah <laughs> I guess so yeah um so you got to, your syngoniums right over here right yeah. it's beautiful I can't move this bar stool okay oh, and that yeah and it was a it's a plant stand not a bar stool oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's for my Jose Bruno yeah beautiful and this one I there's like a little baby one here as well which I got as a treat with like a plant friend. Oh, okay, so it's so, not even part of the plant. No, it's oh, a different one. This is its original leaf. Yeah. It took me so long to root this plant. Yeah. I think like over six months before it actually formed any roots. So, oh my God. But it's taking off now, so yeah. I'm glad. Uh, that's my tartum narrow form, which I need to repot. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Um, the roots are crazy on this. Let me get it on. So, it's like. <laughs> oh yeah, that's yeah. ready. That is ready. I need to repot this. It's so. beautiful. The structure of this plant is just so gorgeous. And when the leaves unfurl, mm -hmm. it's really pretty. And yeah. I have like the wide form here as well. So Ooh. I think I like the thin form better. This one? Yeah. Yeah, me too. It's like, uh, I got this first before this one. Yeah. So. Yeah, but they're cute. Um, it's very tropical looking. You're so. the shelf too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Most yeah. amount of light can get through. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty smart. Another Amazon purchase? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get your Amazon links going here. Yeah. Um, yeah, but like, I was like a bit wary that it will crash. Yeah. So I like try to keep it like really light, like just like plastic pots. Yeah. Um, except this. I got this from a trade as well. It's a Polyneura brogat. Oh yeah, like the fishtail ones, yeah. right? But this one has like very silvery leaves. Yeah. Um, I managed to root it. It was like a cutting, but it hasn't grown. And then you have your Hoya linearis right here. Mm -hmm. Has that flowered for you yet? No. Um, I actually, that one was like a really big pot and then I yeah. forgot to water it once. <laughs> and it like, it went, it became like that, but I managed to save it, so. I yeah. barely water mine though. I'm yeah. still kind of like, I've had mine for maybe two years now. Mm -hmm. And I just have it in the north window. Yeah, it's never flowered. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm always, I always see them when I was out in the UK. Yeah, they grow them big there. Yeah, and people yeah. could get them as large plants. Really, wow. And uh, and people will show their flowers off and everything like that. And I'm just like, I'm still, I feel like I'm still learning this even yeah. after two years of having it. Yeah. Cause it just seems to be in stasis. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, what can I do to just make it? Flourish more, yeah. yeah. Um, my friend had hers in like west facing windows and yeah. hers bloomed last year. Oh wow, year, okay so. good, okay good yeah. tip. Um, that's an orchid I got from Hawaii. Oh, the one on the... Yeah, that's yeah. stunning on the right hand side. My own... My and then you have a kirkii right yeah. here, right? The Copper co tone. Yeah. And then a, it's a well fed and Masonii. Yeah. yeah. And then is this a Zebrina? Alocasia Zebrina? It's a or Tigrina. Okay. Yeah. Um, I yeah. get those confused with the little stripies, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'm quite impressed that it, there's another leaf because for the longest time it was like three leaves. And yeah, I need to report that as well. The roots are like a little crazy right now. That's one of the things that I think gets away from me when repotting. I kind of have to dedicate a day mm -hmm. for it, just a whole day just yeah. to repot it. Yeah. Now this one looks like you took some type of um, I'm trying to cutting. Oh, here, yeah. Okay. Because it wasn't doing so well. Yeah. And, like, it, it had, like, really damaged leaves, so I, like, cut it, and I'm, like, trying to air, yeah. air layer it so I could, like, cut it again. Yeah. And so this is your soda roy, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, like... And then I have a cupria here as well. Oh, that's beautiful. So... I unfortunately lost mine. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did. Yeah. But I think I could have probably been on top of it better because these have a tendency to, even if you have like a stem, mm -hmm. to come back. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I'm not sure how I feel about locations because of the spider mites. 
you know, yes, I, so. I agree with you. It's very hard right. for me to to keep alocasias. Yeah. This one didn't seem to be as much of a spider mite magnet as like alocasia poly uh -huh. or the Amazonica yeah. ones. Yeah, those are just like those are to, for me impossible in my home right now. Yeah, um, I have like an Aslania in my bedroom as yeah. well. And then the other day I looked at it, it was like covered in spider mites. So I like, <laughs> you're like, you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> at least get a shower. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna like treat this immediately. And then you have a uh, Billy Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. And a uh, variegated ZZ, which only grows like once a year. It's stunning. I, I had one that went all yellow for me. Really? Yeah, just strangely all yellow. Uh -huh. And it was one of those things where I was like, I'm going to take a photo of this because it's probably not going to last long. It lasted for about two months, and then it started to, to die back. Uh -huh. But... Yeah. I'm wondering if it's going to come back. I mean, I still have the other stems, yeah. all green, and then the one just went all, kind of all yellow, and it was just all golden. Oh, wow. um, and I was like, oh, wow, what, what, a, what a wonderful experience there. But, but yeah, so you're saying slower growing. Yeah, yeah. it literally grew one stalk last year, mm -hmm. and I've had it for since, like, 2019 as mm -hmm. well. So, yeah. But even all these small ones like that you're rooting. Now, wh which ones are these? Um, that's a Bordenii. Oh, that is think, nice. Yeah. That's an, a, another nice leaf. That one has like a peduncle as well, but uh, I'm not sure if it will bloom anytime soon. Anything it's that like, like stood out to yeah. you for like um, the smells of blooms? Um, my retusa, like in my bedroom, mm -hmm. I, I definitely like took a whiff of it and it yeah. was actually pretty nice because smelling. Because you, yeah. you have like a kind of this humid yeah. house and it's, yeah. it's yeah. Uh, small too, so when the when something so. blooms, I'd imagine it just like kind of is, is fragrant throughout the home. Yeah. Yeah. Um, nothing like noticeable. Yeah. Else. We'll see when this decides to bloom. So yeah. yeah. I'm waiting for it. Because that has a little powdery smell, doesn't it? Um, well, it's like a little powdery. This is my first bloom with okay. Miss Bella, so okay. we'll see. Okay, we'll, we, will, we will wait and see. Yeah. Um, and then over here, oh, you have more. You have another Hoya yeah. Linearis, so that's uh, nice. That was given by my friend Agatha, because yeah. I told her how sad I was about my Linearis dying, and she was like, here you go. Cutting. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. And then I Plant, found... Plant Ma, mm -hmm. Agatha from Plant mm -hmm. Ma. Okay, cool. Yeah, and then I found that at Nelly's. And oh, geez, yeah. I didn't see this one. <laughs> and Because it's like one of my favorite plants, and I was yeah. so sad, and like um, Peter saved me this... Um, really big pot, so I was really happy that's to get it. That's so nice. Yeah. And then wait, this looks like another Hoya polynura. Yeah, that's like a normal green polynura. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's like the sunrise up there. This one right yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. And you're getting actually some red reddening on that one. Yeah. I don't know if it's from the light or from what it might be. And is this a Discidia an Anantha with yeah. variegated version? Yeah. That's great. Look at and look at the little creamy cream sickle coming out of here, creamy white. Yeah. And your zero Sisios Dengui looks great underneath the light. Yeah. It looks like it's basking there. And it has like a little shoot at the I top see. there. Look how cute. It's small. It looks like it was clipped right here, cut, and then it's growing off to the side. Yeah. I've never cut it before. Yeah. But yeah. And then oh. Macrophylla? Mm-hmm. Um, has this bloomed for you yet? No, not yet. And then your carry eyes, you have a carry eye splash, I see. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. that's that that's got a pretty that's got a pretty leaf. Very splashy. Yeah. Um, and then at the back is like the go golden dragon? The golden dragon, I yeah. think. I don't know, that's like a few but names is, for but, it. But so this is um like, this is uh like splashed. Yeah. Yeah. Um I'm not like super sure what the name is because yeah. I think like someone like named it like fiddle lime or something and mm. I was like, oh, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. And then you have your top shelf. Yeah. You got some aglunemas. Mm-hmm. Because they're like more light colored. Yeah. So I like left it up there. Is that just an epipremum? Or um, what is that? It's like I I think I got it as like something emerald. Green emerald or yeah. something. And then I because I wanted like when I moved in here I wanted like some trilling plants that mm -hmm. are like, you know, a bit fuller and everything. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I'll get that. And then the Cebu Blue. Yeah, the Cebu um, Blue, and then Lodicea. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. then your variegated Will Masoniana. Yeah. That's a beautiful, that's beautiful variegation on that. Yeah. I know the Aglinema is trying to like put her, like, put her arm <laughs> over it, but. Oh, 
<laughs> and then is this a an anthurium vitarifolium? Yeah. Okay. I got that as a vitarifolium. Okay. Um, and that's like a mint variegated Edinsonii. Wow. Yeah. The the variegation is really pretty on that yeah, one. Yeah, that is. Um, because like some of the mints like are more like. Diffuse, yeah, green, but this one is like pretty prominent, yeah, and throughout so, the whole yeah. leaf, yeah. And then, uh, so I have this, I bought this as like a two leaf cutting of like my Aurea Monstera, yeah. Um, and yeah, it grew a bunch, but then it started reverting, so I cut it off. And this is like the new leaf, which I'm still waiting to see if there's <laughs> any variegation. Because the variegation only appears like after it like hardens off, yeah. So we'll see. But this is also a part of it uh, that I got. Like I grew from a node. Yeah. So we'll see. But this one looks promising. Like that does can... look promising, actually. Yeah. And, so. and I wonder if like this white here, maybe it's just because it's so young. But sometimes you could tell oh, by yeah. the, yeah. the the petiole whether it's gonna get some uh, you know splashes yeah. on it. Yeah. But I I could see like some you know like difference yeah. in color. Yeah. So I was like, okay, fine. If, it reverts, I have this like little baby. It's either that yeah. or you're projecting yourself on the plant. <laughs> I'm like, please give me variegation. <laughs> um, yeah, and a strawberry shake here. And like, yeah, this is like my propagation project jar <laughs> as well. <laughs> well, it's like you get a lot of projects going on. I do. So. Um, so I'm like trying to like grow this like elbow notes. I didn't know if this one would grow and I was like, oh my god, should I toss it? Because I couldn't find like a note on right. it since it's like, you know, looks like that. But I'm glad I didn't toss it out. Yeah, that's great. It grew this. And this is like the first time I like uh, propagated in soil. Mm -hmm. So because I usually just do water just to check on it. So mm -hmm. I'm like quite pleased with this. Yeah, soil and a little leka it looks like you have in there. That's yeah. Uh, well, when I got my Eden Sonii, the note, the variegated one, the the person gave me this as well because it's like it's gonna die eventually, but it's like really pretty. It's hanging on there though. Yeah. See, it's got a little, little chlorophyll right there. Yeah. But the new leaf is like all white. Yeah. And then I have like, cause like my friends, like I have two friends that has like variegated Eden Sonia as well, mm -hmm. and they were like, yeah, the white leaves like last forever, and we were like, okay, should we bet who's one? who's like die first and yeah. the person has to like buy us dinner <laughs> or something. Yeah. But this is green right here, so it looks like this part could be white and then this part could be green. So maybe if it, if it holds on and puts out another green leaf, that would be, yeah. that might be a possibility. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. It's just like really white though. Um, it might just be getting a little chlorophyll from the stem itself. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Well, I'm still holding on to it, so we'll see. Uh, a little like baby strawberry shake. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's like. Is that like a from this? Did you take a little cutting off uh, of it? Or it was from another from plant. Okay. Yeah. So I like grew it from a node. Yeah. And yeah, it's putting out little leaves. And there's some like other like um, Arbo Monstera that I'm trying to propagate in soil as well yeah. from like nodes. So yeah, they all grew leaves. Very pleased with myself. Very yeah. good. Yeah, and I have like some. Very good at ZZ Props. <laughs> it looks but, like a stack of cards. Look, it grew bulbs. <laughs> That's amazing. That's yeah, great. It took forever. ZZs are so giving though, because you can get them by the leaf, you can get them by the little uh -huh. tuber, tuber bulb, yeah. and you can get them by the stem. So yeah. Yeah. They're, they're actually very giving plants. Well, very good on, on you for being able to, to root those by the leaf oh and having God. the patience. Yeah, it took uh -huh. so long. I have one that actually, like, it's like, Two years old, almost two years old now in my bedroom. Yeah. That like I grew from a leaf. So yeah. And then I, I want to just highlight some of your propagation stations up here, yeah. maximizing your light as much as possible. Yes. Um, yeah. I'm like propagating like some sorry Yeah. As well. Yeah. I like I like water propagation because yeah. I can just like stuff all of them into like the same jar. <laughs> And, and it yeah. saves on space, as you had mentioned. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Something that we always have to think about in a small apartment setting. Yeah. This is like a... From Mary Lisa? Oh my god, that's a, that's a hard one. I have no idea how to pronounce it. So. Yeah, I can't remember yeah. it, but that's one of the hardest ones. I tried that yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. That's um, so challenging. It is. Um, I used to keep it in like a cloche. Yeah. But like, I felt like it wasn't going anywhere, and now like I put it here and it's like doing better. 
it definitely like grew like brighter pinks mm -hmm. just by being by the window instead of like underneath like a grow light because mm -hmm. it used to be underneath a grow light. Yeah. All right, well, you like have to keep week. me updated on yeah. that one because <laughs> that one was a struggle for me. I know, I've been like trying to, yeah. you know, work it out. <laughs> I was like, I'm petting you. You're a good girl. Yeah, good girl. Here are... Oh, and you have another experimentation station yeah. right here in your yeah. bedroom. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> you're like, my jewelry. <laughs> here. Oh my gosh, um, you have to like get bigger and bigger glass jars. It's so funny. I know. They get expensive after a while. Yeah. So you get some more varicosums. And, and this is your monster as Peru, yeah. but also the variegated yeah. kind. Um, this is like a Varu uh, Milano cross. Oh, so. it's a Milano slash varicosum. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it got like, it lost it, its leaves. And yeah, and that's like a serpent that I got from a trade. Um, that's cool. Yeah. Like try and root it. All these like little experiments. Look at this. Oh, that's like an aria yeah. note as well. Yeah. So. How, how do you how do you remember? Like, do you keep a little tag in these, or you just, oh this here one. they are. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. So and this is like a variegated like the black cardinal. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Oh, look at the petioles on that. Nice. Yeah. And then I, I got this from Planted by Christy. Mm -hmm. So I just left it moss to root a little bit more, but yeah. like the variegation is so pretty. Stunning. Okay, so this is your next plant shelf here. Yeah. From Ikea. Yeah. Ikea has good home solutions. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Especially for small apartments and everything, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually have one in, that's like black, but uh, yeah. our movers like lost the glass shelves. So we're like, okay. Ikes. Yeah. So we got like a white one just to, you know, be like similar to you. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so which, what is this? Is this is type of Stefania or yeah. what is that? That's a Stefania Super Rosa or something. Hmm. I just planted it for the longest time. It just like was sitting in like the, like a shelf. Yeah. Like, but I'm not sure which is like the top and bottom. <laughs> so I was like, okay, every few weeks I will turn and see if something happens. It's, cause like the... it, it should get a little tiny root off of it. I think you probably got it right. I think this it looks like it would come out of here, that the green would yeah. come out of there. Cause like the, let me see, the bottom. Oh no, I don't know now. Right. <laughs> Watch it probably surprise you. It'll be like on the side. <laughs> I know. I was like, oh, should I leave it like on sideways or yeah. something? So, but sometimes Matt, you could just leave them out without planting, and then I'll start to just you know get yeah. a little green. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's so, tough. I don't know. If anybody knows, let us know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Matt's theory is like, oh, this looks like a stand that got cut or something, yeah. and then I was like, okay, fine, I'll try it this way, and then yeah. in a few weeks' time, I'll turn it if nothing happens. <laughs> so, yeah, a um, guessing game. Yeah. Oh, I love these. I love this plant. Philodendron rugosum. Yeah. Very I nice I like plant. imported it from Ecuador and mm -hmm. it didn't have any roots, so mm -hmm. I'm trying to like root it now. I'm not familiar with this one. It has like look at the little leaves Aww. going. A nice dark color. Oh, this right. is the the one that I grew from. Oh, that's a Ali. variegated ZZ. Yeah. Wow. I cut it. Yeah. I, I think I planted, wait, no, I planted it in soil in mm -hmm. like September 2019. Oh. So it, oh, this is how long it this takes. This is persistent. I know, every year. It's like it, a cactus, gosh. That's like, that's like cactus growth. So this came out last year. This mm -hmm. came out this year. We'll see next year. Yeah. For like it's It'll go one. green next year because it's I like, know. it's losing its variation. I'm like, no. <laughs> it has like little like splashes, yeah, little, I guess. It's little spots. Yeah. And then Hoya Marillii, this is one that I have also at home, but it has not flowered for me yet. Yeah. Very slow. Yeah. And is this a De Cursiva? Yeah. Nice. Um, and the one in the bag is a Mexicanum. It used to be my, like my old apartment, like had a backyard. So. Oh, the philodendron one in the back? Yeah. 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 Oh, it's, it, it doesn't have a leaf on it, but they get the, they have the really nice red bottoms, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And take me through here. This is a variegated giant gen. Ga oh, gigantium, yeah. philodendron, but gigantium. Wow, uh, that is a beautiful. Look at that leaf. Yeah, it used to be on the floor. It and looks then, like painter splashes, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. It used to be on the floor, yeah. and then it like just 
it grew this leaf. So, like, I was like, oh, I was quite impressed. Like, mm-hmm. I guess it didn't, like, really need, like, super highlight yeah. to, like, grow this leaf. Yeah. So, I was like, yeah. Uh, this is, like, a for- this is, like, my Florida Beauty that I got in, like, 2018. Um, it was my- one of my first rare plants. And this is the one that grows, like, one green, one variegated leaf. Ooh, fascinating. Yeah. It grew, like, really, really tall, like, four feet. And mm-hmm. then I, like, chopped it off, like, to see if it will get me any variegated leaves. So this is like the bottom cutting. Yeah. And it, it grew like this green leaf and then it grew like a variegated leaf huh. after that. So I was like, and this variegation is like so pretty. Yeah, it is. So I was like really happy with it. And uh, this is like the top cutting of the plant. So I just like planted it together. Um, yeah. That's beautiful. I mean, yeah, my Florida Beauty, I think it's just like a straight up green. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's all it does is green, green, green. Yeah. Oh, and there's your, I, sorry, I'm pulling you away, but that's your Hoya Retusa and it's yeah. a bloom. It's beautiful. It is blooming. Yeah. So. This is how, I was, um, I was a little bit struck with mine because it was like the single flower, mm-hmm. which I'm not accustomed to because usually it has that um, umbiliferous like yeah. kind of bloom. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I see yours only has a single flower as well. Yeah, it's like... I think it has a few more like peduncles that mm-hmm. hasn't like opened the, yeah here, like the blooms. Stunning. The really small ones. So I've had this for a while as well. So I'm very happy that it bloomed. It's really pretty. Oh my god, this orchid Matt got it from me from Trader Joe's in December, <laughs> and the flowers are still here for like four <laughs> months now. <laughs> We were like, is it fake? Like, <laughs> I'm very impressed. Like, how did it like last so long? And it's like, you know, still here. Well, that's either really good props to the the growing in the light here, or really good props for t- Trader Joe's orchids. <laughs> I know, right? Um, yeah. So the leaves are like getting very silvery. Yeah. Yeah. I am terrible with like begonia identification. It's like, it, I sometimes will, will write Steve and I'll be like, do you know what this begonia is? <laughs> but sometimes they don't even know because there's so many cultivars. There's so many, yeah. yeah. I just pick like whichever ones that are like pink yeah. in color and like pretty. Um, this is the other one, like the Brim- Mary Rosa. The one, <laughs> the same one outside. So yeah, just like, it's not doing really well, but I'm it's hoping been, it'll it will bounce back. Isn't the color usually like a dark black and red mm-hmm. kind of thing? Yeah. yeah. So. It almost looks like it could be getting bleached, which is so hard to believe because yeah. this is like, even though it's a big window, yeah. it still has like a UV protection and it's north, mm-hmm. but who knows? But actually I like left this under grow lights. So oh, I just like I recently see. moved here. So, okay. Because the other one was doing better. Yeah. So I just like decided to move it here as well. Um, This is like the Benigo, I think. Yeah. Um, I'll just leave his diet, so, <laughs> yeah. Remove. Yeah, but you have a lot of nice new growth. Yeah. And even up here. I like begonias, because if you cut them, they like, just get bushier as well. They're very giving, yeah. Uh-huh. You just can't be afraid to cut them. Yeah. Yeah. Because I had my begonia luxuriance, it was so beautiful, mm-hmm. and then it started getting scraggly, and I'm like, chop, and now it's starting to just bush out again, and I'm yeah. like, God. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same for this soon. Yeah, yeah, I'm just like waiting for it to grow a little bit. Oh, that's like a crackling rosy. Crackling rosy down there. That's a popular one. Yeah, people I, like that one. Yeah, I got this upstate um, last year. Um, I really like this. It was like, and it's like a big pot for like ten bucks. Yeah. So I was like very, very happy. <laughs> There's still places where the plants are cheap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And then your pink princess, right? Yeah. Oh, and this, like, this is one of my favorites. It's like a pubic helix, and it's so splashy. So splashy. Look at, like, it's more silver than it is green. But even this, look at this, how oh, beautiful. Yeah. I love this leaf, which is, like, dark green on one side and silver on the other. Yeah. It's like the galaxy. Doesn't it look like the, it's like a, it looks like a Vil- Vilbo Graves, like the Hoya Vilbo Graves. That's yeah. It's, like, super expensive. It's beautiful. But, yeah, and these are, like, the new leaves. Again, not facing the door. So. To me, it looks like the Milky Way. Yeah. So beautiful. And these are like almost pink. So. Oh, yeah, look. Yeah. 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 Half of this pot came from a friend as well. Oh, so yeah. it's two different plants mm-hmm. in one place. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah. And then we should probably not overlook your monstera. Mm-hmm. I went to LA last year and during uh, Valentine's Day with my friends. The three of them, like, are not into plants. Like, mm-hmm. they have plants at home, but they're not, like, you know, houseplant enthusiast. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I just, and when we were like picking out places to 
visit, I was like, I just want to go to one nursery and that's it. Like, yeah. or at least like three or something. <laughs> just a few and then like humor me. So we went to Mickey's plants <laughs> and then like I was walking around and then my friend was like, can you believe that plant is so expensive? I was like, what? And then, um, and then I saw they were selling this, but it was like, it was like $400 and it was like really tall. I think it was, it had 14 leaves. And I thought it was like such a good price for like how big it is. And yeah. I was like, how rare it is to like, you know, see it in person in a store. So I bought it. And then I was like, okay, I'm done shopping for the entire trip. Yeah. We can do anything else now. No more plant stores. Did your friends make fun of you afterwards? Because you're like, you messed up. <laughs> no, they didn't. But I, I, so I bought it on the first day of the trip. And I left it there. I was like, oh, can I leave this plant here? And I'll come back at the end of my trip. <laughs> so I made my friends drive to back to Mickey's before going to the airport. And we packed it in a box. Oh and like, I flew it on a plane here. Yeah. She was like, yeah. Oh my goodness sakes. Yeah. What a story. And then where did you get the one on the left? Um, I got it off eBay in like 2018 as well. Oh, it was wow. like a two leaf, like two baby leaf cutting. Yeah. So it grew. Because that one yeah. has also beautiful, nice white, white splashing on it. Yeah. Um, Who knows? They might have even come from the same plant. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You never know. Yeah, she's yeah, she's my baby. Like, it's like one of my first monster. So yeah, yeah, and never cutting it. So I would say don't be afraid to chop. You know, <laughs> like sometimes like your plan will come out bushier, and like for me, like. You know, like that Florida beauty was like losing its variegation and I chopped it and the variegation came back. Like, yeah. looking really pretty and like, yeah, but if you're not sure, I always like, don't be afraid to ask someone for mm -hmm. help, you know? Yeah, and that's like, yeah, I think that's like the main thing. And also mm -hmm. that you don't need very much mm -hmm. in order to be able to, to propagate. Yeah. You know, as long as you have like a little node, right? Yeah. Does it help having a little airflow in it? Or um, like, especially when you're doing this, do you take off the glass or do you kind of keep it just under? I do like slip a few coins underneath just mm -hmm. to like have like a little gap mm -hmm. throughout the day and I would say like a lot of humidity mm -hmm. if you're like propagating like philodendrons, anything, anything like humidity and light would be like really important. Yeah. And what's next on your wish list? Um, I want a variegated bunny tree. The Patera Aquatica. Yeah. 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 Like, Those are hard to come by. Yeah. And they're so expensive. I was like, oh, gosh. I, I must have bought mine maybe like six or seven years ago. Mm, wow. And I had one and I was like always looking to buy a second one. Uh -huh. And um, it just never came around. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I want like one that's like really variegated, but mm -hmm. uh, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. It's so funny because like Patera Aquatica, the money tree, uh -huh. is so common mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. but like finding a variegated one is like so unusual yeah you almost could find like it's easier to find like a variegated monstera yeah compared to like a, a money tree well thank you so much vivian this is so wonderful and and to have this many hoya and aroids and like mm -hmm. a in a north facing apartment again Albeit with some of these like great lights and very good use of your IKEA shelf, by the yeah. way, <laughs> and some Amazon purchases. So we'll have to get those mm -hmm. links from you. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Well, thank you so much, and thank yeah. you also to thank your you. little dog Lila. Right, Lila? That's the line. <laughs> the line. Yeah, you have the line. line. <laughs> Lila, stop it. <laughs>If you're looking to up your plant game, then check out our suite of courses and offerings including Houseplant Basics, Troubleshoot Your Houseplants, the 125 Houseplant Care Spreadsheet, and the Houseplant Masterclass. The courses provide you a certificate of completion when you're finished and a wealth of information that you could use to impress both your plants and your friends. More information can be found over at homesteadbrooklyn.com. And if you're seeking more information about gardening outdoors and homesteading in the country, then check out our new channel over at Flock Finger Lakes. See you there.